everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's Eva, uh, creator in Bohemian Crafting. And I had a prepared video for today with journals for sale. Luckily, all these journals are sold already. Uh, they were sold on my Patreon site. As the video is going always first to my Patreon site. So today uh, I do have video for you with those journals but they are uh, more like inspiration and not for sale. Uh, I will have some uh, other journals for sale very soon but I hope maybe you will find some inspiration in uh, today's journals as well. I'm gonna start with this small small leather binded hand painted journal. This is I mean the cover it's hand, hand painted uh, I did this painting using stencil I took stencil as my help and I did all this painting all this uh, sewing stitching and uh, kind of erasing some parts of the cover uh, here I put decorative brats and decorative uh, filigrees in the cover and as I said, it's leather on the top. It's uh, fake leather. It's not proper leather. Uh, it does have beautiful size. Kind of like very handy. And it's full of butterflies. So now I'm going to put some music in the background. Uh, and show you what is inside. That was my little butterfly journal. Now this one, uh, it's very sim very simple journal with lots of flip outs and lots of pockets. It does have pockets and flip outs on uh, same position, so I'm not gonna talk about that too much. It's flip up, and the pocket from uh, flip 
flip up and flip on the side and pocket here. And here it does have open envelope with the window. This journal has so much uh, pockets and also so, so many uh, writing places. And each of these pages are very similar, always flip up at the front, pocket underneath. And then flip up and flip on the side with the pocket underneath. It's pretty much similar till, till the end, so I'm just gonna end then its a window envelope. They are all same. Here I just wanted, oh, <laughs> here. Here I just wanted to use kind of like leftovers of these decorative papers. And I was thinking in very simple journal like this, they will look really beautiful. This is very soft and feminine journal. Uh, here can be add so many decorations, photos, and you know your memo memorabilia. I didn't add anything to to decorate it. I think this spread uh, it's perfect for someone who will want to decorate it uh, itself. You know, uh, to add their their own touch and uh, embellishments and maybe stamps. Here is only one I decorated with few uh, little stamping and some some a little note so that's this journal and because it does have quite a huge spine and flexible spine this journal even it doesn't seem that way it can hold so much that's this one and then a very next journal i do have here for sale it's this large one uh, it's coffee themed i did use the collection i had in my stuff and it's also non-decorated uh, journal. It's actually altered this uh, ring-binded journal. And I just wanted to see how the journal will look like without decoration at all, just with separate sizes or different sizes, sorry, different sizes of papers and envelopes. And I have to say, I really love it. It looks so interesting and uh I think uh, it makes this journal so unique. So it does have magnetic closure here at the front. It can be opened this way. This can be opened this way just to spread this beautiful paper. We do have pocket here and I added there just a few uh, little charms for this journal. I did small embossing here and it can be a lift up this way here we have coffee because it's coffee themed and inside i do have stickers with the words and quotes and this sticker collection with numbers and stuff for decorating this journal that's in this large pocket here to decorate this cover i did use this um Oh, I forgot the the name. <sighs> suede. I think it's called su Suede. The fabric. It's really beautiful. Very soft uh, to touch. So I used that fabric to cover all this notepad. And I actually did uh, extra cover with this hollow spine to give it kind of like old look. Do not have that spine. The spine of the proper notepad was flat. And I wanted to give here a little bit more dimension to make it uh, look more like those old vintage books. So I added this uh, hollow spine here. Here we have kind of like tuck spot. And here it's spread of different sizes of envelopes. I added also a few uh, tabs which can be added to the pages. I also added my collapsible envelope with some decorative elements inside, words and strip, strips with quotes. And I think, yeah, that's all. And also decorative uh, reinforcements. I added to this collection also the papers from same collection I used for covering the cover 
So they are mixed all together with other papers from this journal. I used a few stamps. There are blank papers, linen papers and the different sizes of envelopes. Here I do have frames which can be added to this journal here and there. And then so many writing papers. And because I like uh, brown and blue combination, I added here uh, kind of like um, top folders to, uh, to make a difference in colors. Just, just to add there a little bit of blue because in uh, the envelopes the background is blue. So I wanted to add there a little bit more of that blue. All papers and all envelopes are tea dyed. And this is proper writing journal and it does have so much potential because, uh, you know, there is a lot of space to add their writing and decorating. I do have here another bunch of words and embellishments. This is from this collection, actually. So I did fussy cut them out uh, already, all of them, to make sure that you know, future owner will have a little bit easier work. And here we have opening like this. With soft stamping here and there. And here some decorative pictures. So there is a lot to choose from. There are beautiful quotes, beautiful pictures with coffee or tea, you know, uh, coffee and tea uh, theme. And here we have this one. And again, writing papers. And here I do have kind of like continuing with these awesome pictures, which can help to decorate this journal. So many quotes and words which can be used through to this journal. I do have few of these a little booklets. And then beautiful quotes and beautiful pictures. So it's all about writing and decorating. And here I do have left of these pictures and quotes. And again, some writing papers. So that's this journal. coffee team and the last not least is this this I made after my visiting seaside here uh, in the UK I have to say I did enjoy it so much this is in uh, some kind of midori style journal uh, I made that uh, elastic band binding and I created that elastic band to hold all that journal together created this little banner here I also created this uh, charm here. Uh, this journal, it's fully decorated. It does have gorgeous pictures of the English seaside. I used old uh, photos to decorate my, uh, I mean, I scanned old photos and resized them uh, to make them a little bit bigger to make pockets here in this journal. Uh, I also created quotes on cards and I used them here to decorate this journal as well. So. This journal has so many uh, pockets and also so many pages for writing. It's a little bit 
in grungy style and just because the sea was very <laughs> very dirty but beautiful so this is my seaside journal and as i said uh, it's elastic bind binding so i do have here uh, three signatures which are holding with elastic band so they can be changed or they can be exchanged for something else i'm gonna put some music and just show you what this journal has
That's my leather binded, kind of like Midori style journal. And flip through of that. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found some inspiration. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.